I think of myself as someone that is a bit different. I am someone that is committed to the feeling of freedom. I am someone that consciously desires experience that seems unorthodox. If you had to stereo categorize an artist into a type of person and a somewhat meek, frail, beret wearing, cigarette smoking guy in a turtleneck, I'm not that person genuinely. Connor Lil Jestrom is a warrior poet. I think in one sense, Connor is a very peaceful, pensive, thoughtful, uh, introspective person. Um, in the other sense, I participate with him on the rugby pitch and, you know, figuratively, literally, we go to, we go to battle. The, the Shiner is just a little rugby souvenir. I was looking in the mirror earlier trying to see if there's some variations that I should start using within this color palette. What would you say to people who come into the gallery and are like, I'm not an art person? To that, shame on people for making others feel that a form of human expression isn't theirs to be aware of or experience. I want people to feel that if they haven't had the door to the art world held open to them before, that this is a place that's going to do that. The nice thing about this space is, you know, it can be a kid that is 10 years old that maybe likes art or somebody that's like in their mid 50s that has never been in a gallery in their life. And maybe they just get drawn to it and exposed to it where they might not normally be. I think it's a really cool approach to it. I think the honesty that's required in creative expression, you know, demands that you adhere to at least a base level of instinct, you know, and be, be in touch with what, even if you have a hard time orally justifying it, what seems like the right thing to do, what feels like, where's your inclination? What's, what's the draw to do something in a certain way? And for me, I'm, I'm drawn to this size and, and the kind of world that gets created in front of of you at a certain scale where your field of vision um, becomes almost completely inhabited by a certain piece. It's the physical interaction with my world in a somewhat bolder way. His work and how you see it, um, it's this very interesting mix of the old and new which is what jackson is you know and i think he represents that very well as being a local it's the desire to alter and curate the spaces that um, we live in and interact with the frustration of wild spaces being desecrated the feeling of wonder when encountering as a human a wild animal and getting to share just a, a moment of interaction 